Hello and welcome to another dungeon guide. Today we're going to do Escalonian Catacombs Path 2. Um, I will speed up the whole video a bit, so if you need any details, just watch the Escalonian Catacombs Path 1 video, especially for Spider Queen here, as I'm not going to explain that much. Again, I was um, looking for a group in the looking for group tool, so I have no idea who these people are. Um, they pretty much suck. Um, they had not that much knowledge of what they're doing, so this is kind of me trying to carry them a bit. And yeah, it's not that easy if you have a group that has no idea. At least they did stack on this graveling stalker here. What the group before in path one did not do just avoid the traps pull the trap and then on cola they managed to kind of trigger his attack early as they didn't properly pull him so I had to kind of get them up by killing a mob and this is like the same in every path in Escalonia catacombs and now it changes a bit we're going to run east and then towards the south as you can see on the map in the bottom right there are some traps on the ground just avoid them they're not going to one shot you but if you had two traps you're dead um just skip all these little mobs um if you do have a group that really knows what they're doing and if you can communicate there's a little trick right here um I'm not going to explain it maybe i'm going to do a video on how to do speed runs as you're going to go into that cave there and um, let the breeder pass by so that usually works and right now you can see different traps and chains you're going to stack on the very left and one player goes to the trap that I'm going to show you in a second so usually you just stack here kill all the mobs and then the graveling breeder comes up and you kill him and then you just need a lot of mobs to be killed. You, if you pull this trap all these little mobs get one shot and my group did not really manage to do it so I had to like run up pull the trigger and yeah. And then you're going to port back run through here you have to pull the chain if you're the first player and then just let Dether come in try not to kill the mobs as my group did as this will slow everything down but yeah now, Deether is going to set up three traps and you have to protect her. Um, these are like the common spots where you can stack. There's a faster tactic where you just um, rest Deether at certain points, but you have to be really good for that. So just try and protect her, kill all the mobs, you have to do that twice. And then you're good to go. Once the traps are set, you have to talk to Deetha and you have to charge these traps with like little mobs. The problem is um, this giant thing, the Ghost Eater, aggros. And you have to de aggro, so just run into the very back corner. But if not, the whole group does it, he still has aggro. And it makes it a lot harder as he is doing lots of damage. Um, Sometimes Deetha has to die until he de -aggros. Um The main thing you have to do is like with these weapons you picked up, if you hit the one skill you lift these oozes and with two you pull them. You just have to pull them into the traps and yeah, I think it's three or four oozes you have to put in there. And then pull the ghost eater into it and then he gets um, vulnerable until he does not go in here. In there you can't attack him. Um, usually you do one trap if you have lots of group damage or two traps as we did right here but this was very uncoordinated and I really recommend not doing it this way. I hope this was useful and see you in the next video.